Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. I don't see anything really that's worth updating here in the short term, um, but we're going to take a look at the two um, charts that I have for Bitcoin here in the short term. Plus, we want to take a look first at um, the forecast for CPI. So today we've got inflation data coming out. I genuinely hope it will trigger some volatility. And then tomorrow we obviously have um, the interest rate decision. I personally don't think we will see too much volatility tomorrow. Um, personally, yeah, it depends on what happens today. But if we see a strong reaction after CPI, after the CPI report today, then it is likely that it's going to be priced in already. And then, you know, people will make their own judgment based, you know, in terms of what they expect from the Fed tomorrow based on, to a large degree, based on what the numbers are saying today. Yeah, so... This is going to be very interesting. So inflation data today, CPI, we can see that here 8.30 Eastern time is it's going to be released. We've got 0.2% forecast month over month. I've seen that the Bank of America is actually forecasting 0.1%. So I don't know, there's a bit of a mismatch here between different um, forecasters. Then we've got CPI year over year, 4.1%, both dropped from last period. And then core CPI 0.4% remains unchanged. So that would generally show a, yeah, a slowdown in the increase in inflation. Um, obviously, with 4.1% still way above target to what the Fed wants. But obviously, that is quite a strong drop if that is what is going to happen. But, the you know, inflation has dropped over the recent months and over the recent year. So people expect that the Fed will either only increase interest rates by 25 basis point points once more or they will stop so if they stop or temporarily pause and they announce that tomorrow then that could have quite bullish signals if we see inflation come in around these figures here lower ideally that would be possibly bullish for crypto you know i'm not really you know i don't like these catalysts because sometimes you know, you can't really trade based on this anyway. You can't really make decisions based on it. Not in the short term, really. Uh, but it generally leads to volatility. So we can take a look at the chart, understand the relevant levels. Be aware that on a day like that, scenarios can quickly be um, stretched. You know, charts can go to the extremes. You can see certain distortions in the short term. I would always wait until the dust has settled after a report like that is released. Last few times, I think CPI didn't trigger much volatility. We'll see what happens today. Uh, ideally, I would still like to see another low. Of course, I cannot rule out short-term upside from here, but at the moment, price looks corrective. Now, the increase looks corrective. And if we zoom in a little bit, the assumption would be that we're coming down here in one more low of this third wave, then a fourth and a fifth wave. So e we either get two more lows or as per the other chart, I'm going to show you one more low. Um, but the other chart, the other count, yeah, now also suggests that a low could technically be in. So obviously over the last few months, you know, I don't know if you're new on this channel, we've been talking about lower prices, lower prices. We expected price to come down to around 25.3K, the 50% retracement that was reached a few times. And so far, price is nicely following the wave count. Just be aware we have now done enough to the downside. Price doesn't necessarily need to go any lower. As per this wave count, we would need one or two more lows. But as per the other wave count, let me actually show that to you. But I explained that in previous videos quite extensively. And I will do so in future videos. Um, in the other interpretation, it's not really less likely. I'm not leaning towards this one um, until I see a clear impulse. But it is certainly... A scenario that would allow for price to have bottomed here already in this ending diagonal where price topped already in March, then an A wave down, a B wave up, and now the C wave down as an ending diagonal, which would be a five wave move, which could be nearly finished. Um, either one more tiny low here on the macro on the micro side, or maybe the low is already in, but without a signal to the upside, without a first impulse to the upside, of course I can't save. So we need to see always that kind of impulse to the upside we need that corrective pullback to the downside making a higher low then we can confirm that a low has been made until then i can only point out the potential that the low could now be in um it's really the first time that i say that sort of with uh <clears throat> without having 
headache, right? I mean, the, the low can always be in, just be aware of that. But it's now like, you know, due to this chart structure here, which would allow for it, that if price now goes up with an impulse, I wouldn't have any headache. Okay, it would it would be okay. It would be okay. So it has technically done enough. It, it would still be looking, you know, it would still look better with one more low on the micro side, maybe hitting 25.3k again, just below that. Um, but I would prefer price to get into the region around 24 to 24.5k. Now, sometimes when there's a lot of fear in the market, and over the last few days there has been a lot of fear in the market, you don't get this last low. It, you know, it sometimes is what it is. Um, we do often get these lows. Yeah, over the last few weeks, for many altcoins, I've said, you know, it doesn't look finished. We probably get one more low. We probably get one more low, and we did get one more low on basically all charts. Um, because the downtrend wasn't finished, right? Even though we were at support levels, if you can see that the downtrend isn't finished, you don't see a reaction, you basically have to expect it goes with the trend. And Bitcoin as well is still expected to go with the trend. With its short term, the trend is still down, okay? Short term. So, yeah, I mean, this is currently still likely to be in a fourth wave. If it pushes a little higher, um, ideally, it stays below the wave too high at 26,820. And uh, if it goes above that level, I mean, it can always, it depends on if it's impulsive or not. If it's not impulsive to the upside, which I'm going to look at, um, if it's not impulsive, it will likely just, yeah, it could just be a reset of the B wave, for example, right? And, uh, or even this B wave could ex um, extend. So what really is important now to understand that we are in a diagonal, okay? In this scenario or in the other one, these are both diagonals in different wave, in different structures, in different in different forms. Diagonals give you pullbacks where you don't necessarily expect them. It's a very difficult market environment at the moment. I still think over the last few weeks, um, our wave counts have guided everybody well because we've been waiting for new lows. They did happen um, basically across the board, even though we had um, obviously for some altcoins bullish support levels on the chart, but no coin really had confirmed that a low was in right on no, no chart it was i was able to confirm really uh, was able to call for a low to be made yeah um so from that point of view the wave count made us very very much aware that new lows have to be expected especially for bitcoin ethereum that was still the primary scenario so let's see if we still get one more low but as I said, you know, it's now the first time where I wouldn't have a headache if price starts to rally from here because it is technically done enough. It would still look better with one more low, okay? So, yeah, um, let's see what happens today. Obviously, today, tomorrow, I have the potential to um, lead to quite a few distortions in the market. So just be aware of that. Okay, that's my update about um, Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.